welcome to Manifest Mindset by a firm a form attract. Your place to come to when you need tips and advice when manifesting. We are an affirmation channel and you can find all our affirmation videos on YouTube. Hello and welcome to Manifest Mindset with a firm a form attract. How is everybody doing? This is episode 15 and in this episode I'm going to be talking about things that you can do to help yourself when you are manifesting. Now let me explain further. Now when we want to manifest something our focus goes on to manifesting that whether it's affirming it daily, meditating, prayer, visual visual boards etc. But what I want to talk to you today is sometimes we need a hobby or something to take our minds off thing or something to remind us that there is still life to live. We often get consumed by our worries and our problems. Usually money and relationships are usually the two most highest ones that we're concerned about. And if it's not that, it'll probably be health as well. And it is difficult or it seems difficult to not focus on these things, especially when you come from a desperate state. And what we tend to do is quite naturally we get on with our everyday lives. If we got work, we go to work, whether we like it or not. If we are, um, we've got kids, we have to look after the kids, whether you're in the mood or not. If you're not feeling too well, like you've got a cold or you're run down, we still have to get on with our everyday lives. And what happens is while we're waiting for our manifestations to come through for us, we tend to forget ourselves and sometimes we tend to forget to live. And what sometimes it doesn't occur to us that not only do we should take a step back, but take a step back and fill fill in those gaps with something else in our life. Now, you might say, well, I don't have any more time to to do anything else. I'm busy with A, B, C and D. And I'm going to tell you, well, make time. I know that sounds a lot easier <laughs> said than done. But there are times in life we just got to be hard on ourselves. We just got to stop the nonsense in our head, stop making excuses and then cry about it later on when things don't happen. So what I'm telling you is just look at your life. What do you do every day? What's your habits? What's your rituals? You get up in the morning, you have your shower, you brush your teeth, you have your breakfast, you go to work. What time do you get up in the morning? Are you a morning person? Are you more beneficial um, in the evening? What what are your routines? Find out what it is and then say to yourself, well, what can, when can I fit in a hobby or or something? It doesn't have to be something that you have to do for hours on end. You can take half an hour, start off with 15 minutes every other day, twice a week, three times a week and implement something that you can enjoy. It could You could just put some things in a hat, um, suggestions in a hat and then take it out and say, right, oh, this says read a book. Yeah, or find a new blog to read and read someone's blog. It could be anything. But the point of this message I'm trying to say to you is that we we do need distractions, purposeful distractions that takes us away from focusing too much on our manifestations. I've been there where all I'm doing is just focusing on it and it's lowering my, I'm, I'm in a mixture of being positive and saying affirmations and visualizing, visualizing and then there's times where I'm just kind of like doing the opposite to take away my manifestations by trying to work out how I'm going to get there with things I don't really want to do to get to where I need to go. And I find myself between going to work full time, working on my businesses, including my podcast, my YouTube and making money, making a living and all these other stuff. And I'm like, I need some peace time for me. And I do not have much of that. And it's hard because I love to do podcasts. I love to do my YouTube channels. I love editing my videos. I love to um doing the content I love finding content to do so it's all fun for me and that's great because you should be doing things that you enjoy and that you're passionate about but at the same time it's when things are not going you know when things are taking long to come when fruits are taking long to to be 
ripen and things aren't you know going moving too slow for you it can end up turning something that you enjoy doing to some frustration and you feel like hope helplessness and hopelessness so we need something that has no attachment to anything like nothing that's going to make you money um i mean it can make you money anything can make you money in long about it's not you're not doing it to make money you're not doing it to impress anybody it's just for yourself so i for the longest time i've wanted to do get back into drawing i love drawing and i've stopped making time for it i never used to draw often anyway i've been on this earth quite a long time and i did art gcse's i've sold um I've done some commissioned work, just little little bits. I made these bags and I painted these women's faces on there, like very line arty. And, um, you know, I sold a few of those. And then eventually somewhere along the line, I end up stopping because, you know, life gets in the way. I want to achieve this. I want to achieve that. And it just gets a bit annoying. <laughs> um, but as well as I made some money for my art, I love doing it because it just brings me so much joy and again I just allow um life to get in the way the busyness of life the frustrations of life and then there's the guilt why are you drawing why you should be working on your YouTube channel or you should be coming up with ideas or you should be working on marketing or you should be working on this why are you doing something that's not gonna pay the bills and a lot of us get stuck in that type of thinking and it's a guilt factor and then sometimes we sit down and we think I'm not enjoying my life as much as I could I'm not doing stuff just for me everything is to do with uh, creating a better life for myself whether I'm going to work five days a week and working on a business on the side or you know looking after my family and doing the things that you need to do so many people just sit down watch Netflix or something called Amazon Prime or anything like that because it's everybody watches tv everybody watches a tv show and it's something i think sometimes we feel less guilty about because number one you're just relaxed you just immerse yourself into a show and it allows you usually to just forget the world for that 45 to 50 minutes and if it's a film you know two hours or these days three hours and it seems okay and it's fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with it I love my programs that I love to watch um I've got an Ali I've got Ali McBill on uh DVD and I've just started re-watching it again because I love it when I put it on it just takes my mind of the craziness that's happening in the world the crazy people in it and it just the 90s days were just such fun and it was just it's just a different vibe it was a really different vibe and when I watch Ali McBeal's, one of my favorite TV shows, it's, it's just funny, it's hilarious. And I found myself laughing even more, you know, than I probably watched it the first time round. So I get it when, you know, you just want to watch the TV shows. But I would suggest find something that's maybe completely different, like learn about ancient China or uh trains or something i mean obviously you want to find something that you are going to be interested otherwise you're just not going to do it but just take an interest in something else whether you sit and watch youtube videos and learn about it or you get a book and you read it or you decide you want to start learning how to knit or crochet or just do some coloring just something that will give you 15 minutes minimum yeah in a day in a week and you can build it up as much as you can in your head you're going to be fighting with yourself and it's going to be like I don't have the time I I can barely have time to think I can barely function we have days where we can barely function and that's okay just you know find a way to deal with those days because in the end guys everything is up to you you can watch as many videos and listen to as many podcasts as you like it's everything is up to you to make that decision you have to say no, stop, enough's enough. And trust me, I want to tell you, when you do that, it doesn't break you. It really, really doesn't. Your life doesn't change drastically in the negative when you decide to incorporate something positive. It might get used to it. You might sometimes forget to do it because, again, you're working on a kind of a ritual and a habit of doing things. You go to work, you cook the dinner, da 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 
you know, and the only time you catch a break is if you go out with friends, you know, for a birthday or for a quick drink. But I will definitely say if you find something to help take your mind off your manifestation, something that would just give you 15 minute minimum of an uplift and just makes you feel good, it will help with your manifestation. I was finding myself, um, and I'm speaking too fast, I do apologize. I find myself that my brain wasn't catching a break. And even though I didn't come home thinking of work because my work's pretty simple, tight, cut and dry, just go do my job, come home. There'd be other aspects of my life that I will ponder on, whether it is uh, weight, my business, just life in general. And it can be quite a lot. And of obviously it will interfere with your manifestations. So it's always good to shut it off even if you do have a job and it is quite stressful, as soon as you get home, shut it down. The best thing you can do for yourself is to make you a better performer in life by cutting yourself some slack, giving yourself a break and doing something like taking up a language, learning a new language, uh, taking interest in something completely different. Even if you join a club that you physically leave the house and you have a meeting once every two weeks or whatever it is, that will really help you. I think sometimes we really get focused on, well, manifestation is scripting, affirming, visualizing, being in alignment, all of that stuff, which it is. But it's the little bits that we kind of forget or just don't think they matter and that's you being a better version of you by creating something to take away any stress that you got in your life you know just and it just have doesn't have to be big it doesn't even have to be expensive you know what start off with going for walks if you come home from work you know what I get it you're tired and the moment you sit down you don't want to do anything but if you push yourself I said you know what I'm gonna go for a walk for two minutes I'm gonna walk for two minutes and I'm going to walk my two minutes back home. Just do that. And what happens is you'll find yourself creating a habit. And then two minutes will stretch to three, then four, then five, then six, or whatever, how, how much you want to jump. Just go for a walk. Now, I did say three things at the beginning. It doesn't have to be three things. That's just a number that I pulled out the air. But if you can find three different things, like going for a walk for one. Another one could be if you're someone who doesn't really take much care of yourself incorporating taking care of yourself like when you've had your shower and your bath and you step out get a face mask put that on so by the time you moisturize your body you dry off and do that you take your face mask off and then there you go like incorporate that do a face mask once a week you know if your hair make sure your hair is always looking nice i know that sometimes depending on your job all of that is just natural you know will come with it anyway if that's what you do anyway, that's fine. Find something else that you can incorporate into your life. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this um, podcast here. And I hope you got the message. So anyway, beautiful people, have an amazing life. Have an amazing day, week, month, and year. Until next time. Mm-hmm.